Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. It's a sunny day, it's early in the morning here and I'm so glad that we have so many birds now to feed the breakfast. And uh, of course the star of the show is Joel. Joel is always hungry and always asking for food. Actually, he, Joel has already consumed two bananas but still asking for food. Joel, you eat! Oh, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> You're already full, I know. <laughs> In our last two episodes, we mentioned about the bats that are visiting us and still they are here. They flew away last night, but uh, in the morning they came back here. So I can conclude that this uh, tree is already their permanent uh, abode. Of course, we're giving them food. So it's really very welcome because we are actually also catering the welfare of the animals. And these bats would remind us of how human beings can be close to nature because bats are perceived to be Dracula, perceived to be wild but these bats are tameable actually and they are hanging on the tree and our topic for today is about the sharing of our hand feed formula this is a DIY hand feed formula and I'd like to share this with you because this is quite effective so far for our birds and as you can see here we have so many birds of these parakeets actually these are uh, 30 days old parakeets and we are starting to hand feed them with my formula of course I said my formula because I have some innovations about the usual bird formula or feeding formula that we have I have here this fresh uh, moringa and also I have this mix of the rice powder, the cerelac, and the wheat germ. See, it's already been mixed here. And we have this hot water. So what we're gonna do is to mix their food. So I have here a small container. I have here hot water, of course, and we will put some mixture of the sweet germ, this rice powder, and even this moringa. This moringa has been pounded with the, you know, this mortar and pestle. We will extract the juice of this moringa to be mixed to our hand feed formula that we have try to mix so we will put this moringa juice here wow oh, it's green color is green oh no 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 <laughs> actually they are already very hungry we will mix this one of course we have to dilute this with hot water and we will wait for a couple of minutes before we gonna give this one to them aside from the parakeets we already have also hand fed our African lovebirds and they are there they are already watching and they would like to come out of the cage so we are giving them this breakfast and this breakfast is really very delicious for them it gives us good result actually that we can recommend this to our hobbyists also we can never go wrong with Moringa of course we can always see some uh, bird hand feed formula on YouTube and other channels but they don't mention about the importance of this moringa and this moringa now will be now uh, of course included in their diet and the main diet also of our parent stock is uh, fresh moringa <laughs> very hungry now oh this one is really very naughty no 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 mm, okay if we can grow this of course they will be tamed the humans we will just make a whistle I, I, I train them to hear this whistle 
so that they will get used to it that's if they will now fly of course they will be alarmed or earlier informed that they're gonna be fed when they hear the the whistle very very good okay 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 another one here you're too small you're already quiet so that means you're already satisfied with your breakfast i hope so oh 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 <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry it should be placed in a box the best aid for this bird to be hand fed is actually two to three weeks it's been our practice to hand feed them at the age of two to three weeks depending upon the size of these birds of course if they're already big then we can we can just get them out of the box and from the parents we can just give them the hand feed formula hey guys these are the african lovebirds that we have fed since uh, Three weeks now. Come on, come on, come on! Da -da -da -dang. <laughs> Da -da -dang. <laughs> Where is Lutino? <laughs> you see, they are very responsive now to humans. Actually, this is my first uh, hand fed chicks. I really had a doubt about hand feeding these birds because I thought they might die. But according to my friend, you can hand feed the three weeks old parakeets or even this African lovebirds by just using the simple formula and additional moringa juice of course the juice is very natural you just get it from the backyard and found it for the juice extraction and you can never go wrong with with this uh, kind of feeding system or feeding mixture where's the other one the other one is here oh, you are so shy why are you so shy? It's quite safe to release this African lovebirds outside because they're coming back. The cockatiels are not coming back. This is my experience with B1. That's why we did not anymore include B2 here outside because they will fly away and they will not think of coming back anymore. Do you think these birds are healthy? If you are an expert, you can make some suggestions what we gonna do with or additional inputs or insights for us and even for our followers and viewers about this uh, health of our birds because it's my first time actually and I can also share with you that the, the Moringa diet is really very effective for our breeders, the parent stocks, and even for the mixing of this hand feed formula. Because they need greens, they need also leafy uh, food. Okay, what about you? Wow. Please tell me the names of this. Can you make some suggestions about the names of this? Of course, our two bats were named Bruce and Barbara. We don't have names yet for this. African lovers, we have seven actually of these parakeets and four of this african lovers and maybe you will ask are you going to sell this one my answer is no this is my personal pet and i'd like to make some experience with you of course about the development of this will they be able to be tamed in the future if they're already big if i will release them in the wild will they come back whenever I call them through this whistle the animal life is really part of human existence because if it were not so then why are they created that's why we have to take care of our animals and of course there is a discussion between eating the farm animals and the uh, well that's your personal conviction I, I don't want to touch that but for me this life 
All the animals are so miraculous and even precious. You know, this bird business is actually very promising because as what I have said, it only needs a small capital and little of your attention. The investment for the cages is a long time investment. You can invest one time and then you will wait for the harvest. Of course, you need to buy good parent stocks and some permits from our government because these are actually regulated. And the best thing that we can do if we have a small backyard or a small space is to take care of this kind of birds parakeets you have this uh, cockatiels and even this african lovebirds because they will give us really good income in fact just today another pair of cockatiels has laid eggs so in this box we can see some eggs maybe five or four and we are anticipating now that the birds or the the chicks of this cockatiels will survive in the last experience that we had there were actually five chicks but only two survived and maybe because of the the kind of attention that these parents are giving because it's the first time also to have babies and we will observe because they're already now also laying their eggs and we will of course monitor this one with our formula that we have you know produced then i think we can make a good production out of breeding of this kind of birds. And hand feeding of the chicks of this parakeets also are highly recommended if you want to have a massive or a quick production. In my experience, if this pair of parakeets can hatch seven chicks, then most likely only two will survive. The five others will die. But if we will assist them in feeding the chicks, they will all survive. And this has been our experience since we started farming these parakeets. And I'm so happy because we are now able to generate a little income about this for their food. And in the future, we're looking forward to have a, a big farm of this kind of birds. And what we are doing right now is to get some techniques and uh, procedures out of our experiences in order for us to perfect a system to be able to produce massively of this kind of exotic birds. And these are all the things that we can share with you so far. I hope you will be encouraged to subscribe to this channel if you are not subscribed yet. And shout out to the members of this channel, to the followers, to our regular viewers. Thanks a lot. And I would like to see you in my next video. Only here at Dexter's World.